Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Apple CarPlay on your Jagdroid system. Uh, I've had lots of inquiries about this. People think that just because it's an Android system you can only use an Android phone. But in actual fact you can use Apple CarPlay like you would in any modern car with a CarPlay system. So I'll go through the process of what you need software and hardware wise to run this from start to finish and give you a demo of how that actually works. So to start off, this is the, the magic that makes it all happen. This is the CarPlay dongle. Um, now I'm actually going to start supplying these through my uh, website soon. Um, so if you check back shortly, I should have those up for sale soon. What you also need is a, a microphone like this. So this is, um, you know, it's like a normal car hands-free microphone. This comes with a little, little holder you can stick up uh, above the A pillar. You don't need to use that, but you can attach that. It's useful for attaching the microphone itself. And that connects using USB to the Odroid computer, which is part of the Jagdroid system. If you don't know what the Jagdroid system is, you do need to have that before you can add CarPlay to it. So check out some of my other videos. In the description, I'll put a link down to a demo of the Jagdroid system itself. Um, I'll actually be supplying this as a kit, so with the microphone and the CarPlay dongle, so that you, you know, you've got a full kit of parts for what you actually need to make this work. So let me go through the process of what you have to do to make this work. Now you first need to install the CarPlay app onto your Jagdroid system. Um, so this is a little APK file, it's not available from the Google Play Store, but it's just an APK file, which is like a packaged app which you can install manually onto the system. I've, I've downloaded that onto a USB stick, so I'll show you the process of how I install it on here. Now I can't do screen capture when I'm using CarPlay, so I've gone old school, I'm going to record this um, with another camera. Um, to give you some close-ups of how this works. So I've got the USB stick plugged into my Odroid system, which is on my, my test Jagdroid system here. Um, so once you've plugged that in, you can go into the files. You need to select your USB drive from here. Mine's already selected. And the app is called Autoplay. So if we click on there, uh, it gives you a, a warning. You can just continue that and say you want to install. It'll take a few seconds. App installed. So we can now open the app. It asks you a few permissions which you need to accept for everything to work properly. Now it's asking us to insert the, the box that so means the, the USB dongle into the USB port. What we'll do first is we'll just change a couple of settings before we do that. So I'll just go through and show you. So the very first thing to do is if you press the settings button here, uh, we'll look at all those in a minute, but so it scrolls down to the bottom. First thing to do is just check this autoplay upgrade because even though you've downloaded um, you know, what looks like an up-to-date version of the APK, there might still be versions available online that are more up-to-date. So we'll just press Auto Play Upgrade. So it's actually found an update and it's downloading that. So we'll just give it a few seconds. Then you need to tell Android that you're happy to allow from this source, i.e. a downloaded file, and then we'll press back. And then you need to just press Install again. So that will actually update the autoplay app that we just installed. So now I can open that. So before we, we connect the um, CarPlay dongle, I'm just gonna change a couple more settings as well, which I found helps the system work in the best way possible. It scrolled all the way to the bottom, says we've already got the latest version. So let's scroll back up. Um, now with this particular unit, it does support wireless CarPlay. I'll show you that afterwards. Let's, we'll do the wired version first. So we'll just keep that on CarPlay. The other option here is you can have mirror, which essentially shows you exact, an exact copy of what you've got on your phone screen on here. CarPlay works in a slightly different way, so you can have different things running on the phone to the, um, to the interface on, on CarPlay itself. So I'll show you that. Android, now it does support Android Auto. I'll save that for a future video. Personally, I, I don't particularly see there's much of a need for Android Auto if you're running native Android on the Jagdroid unit itself. It's much more powerful than the native, uh, sorry, than the Android Auto interface, but it is an option, so I'll show you that later on. Uh, we don't need to worry about all of these. We'll, we can look at these later, but the, the main ones that we need to change really, and it's not that important, but if, you've, um, if you're in a country with right-hand drive, like we are in the UK, you might want to say driving mode to the right. What that does is it moves the menu options from the left-hand side of the screen to the right, so they're closest to you as the driver when you're operating the car. I'll show you that once we launch it. Um, other options. Um, the main one here, really, which is, you know, it's not essential by any means, but you've got car icon. So when you're in CarPlay and you want to change back to the, the native Android 
um, menu, you can pick your car icon. So obviously we will want to look for a Jaguar icon. There we go. Uh, what else? Language, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I, think, I think that'll be fine for now. Let's just press return. So now it's waiting for us to insert the CarPlay dongle. What I'm gonna do as well is plug in this microphone. So you need a USB microphone for the sound to work so that you can, uh, you can actually use hands-free calling on your, on your iPhone through the system without needing the Jaguar integrated phone module, which is quite handy. So let's plug in the microphone to start with to a spare USB port. And now I'm gonna plug in the CarPlay dongle itself. You can normally just leave this attached all the time. So it takes a few seconds, choose an app for the USB device. Always allow auto place to, to access the auto box. Yes, let's do that. Auto play, thank you, always. So auto play is the app that actually runs the CarPlay dongle. So now it's detected, we've plugged that in. It's asking us to connect our phone. So let me plug in my iPhone using the, the cable. And then if I unlock the phone, do I need to unlock the phone? No, I don't even need to unlock the phone. There we go. So we've got Apple CarPlay running on the Jagdroid system. So if you've ever used CarPlay before, it's quite intuitive. It's a really cut down version of what you would get on your iPhone designed so that you can use that while you're driving without major distractions. I think it is quite limiting in what it can do, but then again, you know, you can do the basic things like load maps and, and play music. So let me demonstrate that for you. Um, so let's just go into maps to start with. So we can search and say, well, let's search for uh, keypad. Let's go to London today. Yes, yes, yes. So usual CarPlay interface. So all this is actually powered from the, uh, the Apple device that's connected. So there you go. Um, that's Google Maps working as you would expect on a CarPlay system. You can also use it for um, Spotify, for example, just to demonstrate how that works. I won't be able to play much because of the YouTube content matching. Um, I'll just play you a short snippet just so to prove that the sound actually works. There you go, and you can skip track. You can skip track on the screen. Let me demonstrate to you how the hands-free calling works as well, because lots of people want to use that and don't necessarily want to install the Bluetooth phone module uh, the Jaguar integrated Bluetooth phone module. Um, so I've got my Android phone here, so I'll, I'll, call, I'll call one from the other. It's a bit difficult to, to demonstrate well because I quite often get feedback because of the way the speaker works, but I'll, I'll do my best to try. So let's go back to the um, home screen. Let's go back into phone, recents. So this is me, this is my Android phone. So if I press dial on there, it's calling me at work. You can see on my screen it's calling me. So this is my Android phone ringing now. So if I answer that, hello. hello. So you can hear it comes out the speakers. I'll just turn that down just so, um, so I don't get feedback. But I can talk through my Android phone here and it's coming through the, uh, the, the Jaguar speakers here. It's very strange. It's a slight lag on it as you get with mobile phone calls. Right, so that works in that direction. And you'll have to take my word for it, but if I speak into this microphone, I can hear myself on my Android phone. So normally, obviously, that would be in your car up there, and I can have two-way conversation between the iPhone with CarPlay and my Android phone, which obviously I would be someone else. I wouldn't normally speak to myself. Hang up the call. So you can see that works quite nicely. Um, what you can do as well is once you're once you're, you're playing the music or on a phone call, you can go back to the, to the normal Android screen and be doing other stuff on here as well. So you can use the home button here and press Jaguar. And that'll take you back to the Android interface. Normally you'd have a car launcher or another launcher here. I've just got the standard Android um, launch on my test system and then to go back into it you might have a shortcut set up but you just go back to the autoplay app and that'll take you straight back into um, to carplay you can press this button here to go into split screen so you can have your maps and your music at the same time 
And when I changed in the, the settings option I showed you before, um, from a right-hand drive to left-hand drive, that just swaps the, the location of this menu bar. So if you're in a left-hand drive country, you might want to leave that as left-hand drive and uh, appear on this side. So that's really it. There's, um, it is quite as simple as that. So it's just installing the, um, the autoplay app, plug in the dongle, make sure you've got a USB microphone, run the app, plug your phone in, and, and job done. What I'll show you now is we'll turn it into wireless mode and I'll show you how it can work without even needing a cable. Okay, so I'm going to disconnect the cable, put that to one side, we don't need that. Uh, just go back to the home screen on my phone, let me just unlock. So now it's asking us to connect the phone, but if I go into the settings menu and I go to, oh, it always scrolls down, I don't quite know why, go into wireless CarPlay this time and go back. Now you need to pair it using Bluetooth. So if I go into the Bluetooth menu here, and then I'll go into Bluetooth on my phone. Now I've actually paired this previously, so it comes up as auto playing connected. So it's connected via Bluetooth, and then you can see it's connected wirelessly. Now one disadvantage seems to be that it, it communicates with the CarPlay box using, using Wi-Fi once it's, once it's actually connected. So it'll scan for it using Bluetooth, then once it's found the device and you connect, it uses Wi-Fi. So it connects a little Wi-Fi hotspot in the CarPlay dongle to the phone. The disadvantage means that you can't then connect your phone to another Wi-Fi point at the same time. So if you've got poor data, it might not work so well. Generally, I'd say that if you can use a wire, use it. You can use a wireless connection out of convenience, but it's not quite as, as good. But it works in pretty much the same way. Uh, maybe there's a slight more lag on it possibly, but you know, you can do everything you would do before. Um, you can go in and you can play your music and that works fine. So you can hear that, it skips. And that's it. So, you can do it whichever way you prefer, wireless or wired, the choice is up to you. As I say, I'll be supplying a kit with the USB microphone and the uh, CarPlay dongle via my website. There'll be a link in the description below if you check that out. Um, if you uh, would like to subscribe to the channel, that uh, really helps. And if you can like the video, give it a thumbs up. You can follow us on Facebook, search for jagdroid.org. And I do have a Jagdroid users group on Facebook as well. If you just search for Jagdroid users group and join that. Um, if you've got any questions or comments, you can uh, leave, leave them on the Facebook group or Facebook page or leave them in the comments below. So thank you very much for watching. <laughs>